Baby, it's true. Yeah, I'm with it if I'm rolling with you. And can't nobody tell me nothing about you. Because I know that what we have is true. Baby, it's true. What's good, BM crew? It's your boy B. And it's Mike. Y'all ain't think we was gonna make it this far. They ain't think they ain't have faith, baby. They ain't have faith in us, but you know what? You rose to the occasion. As y'all see by the title, man, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys what y'all been looking for, man. We're gonna go ahead and tell the story about what happened on Valentine's Day. This crazy, crazy, crazy story. Crazy story, though. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. This was probably one of the most embarrassing, or I ain't even gonna say embarrassing because I wasn't embarrassed, honestly. I was. I was she was embarrassed. I know <laughs> and she was gonna embarrassed. Find out why. She was definitely embarrassed, but I wasn't embarrassed because I was out of it. I didn't care what, who saw me, what was going on. I just know I was just. Thanks to this guy, I will never forget Valentine's Day yeah, from day. 2021. Whoa! Whoa! What is what this? Is that? We got a package from Satara. Yo, when I saw this online, y'all, I saw that this had a very like cool shape. Like it was almost like one of those things that you put on your head when you're going to the airport. You sit in yeah. the plane or something. It's a really cool neck pillow. Well, yeah. it's not a neck pillow. It's just kind of built like that. And it's like not your regular pillow. <laughs> it's a satirical pillow. All right, I'm so. excited to see. We're, I think we're going to get some really good sleep on these pillows. We're going to have to let y'all know once we do sleep on them. So the package is really, really nice, honestly. I ain't even going to lie. It's a real nice box. You know what I'm saying? It got yeah. the good handle on it just in case you want to hold it. So yeah. we got two of the dream pillows that are shaped uniquely. They have this really good memory foam i think it's like premium memory foam so they're at the top of their game with these pillows hey i never seen a pillow shaped like this honestly this is really 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 dope i'm excited and it came in this package i ain't gonna lie coming in this package i wouldn't expect a like a full-blown pillow to come out of it so i'm kind of excited to see how this is about to look you know? i love when things like this are like rolled up really tight and compact Ooh. and then it just unfolds y'all it feels soft already and it's yes. like plastic Oh, oh my god! Like it's so so. Oh y'all, I feel like the video is doing it no justice. Like, oh, this is so so. Oh. And it's like a memory foam. Feels look at this. so good. And then this is like a little place for your neck look like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I want to just lay down and put my neck in between. You know what I'm saying? And then Ooh. look back. I feel like as a couple. Like when you wanna, uh, I can lay my head on oh, this. Honestly, this is a dope pillow. It really is. And I feel like it's really meant for couples because now your arm isn't gonna go to sleep. Big fat. <laughs> so guys, these pillows are really amazing. If you wanna get you one, make sure you go to sleepsutera.com. It's gonna be in the description below. Just go to that link and you will not regret it. Yeah, hey, I can't even stop touching my pillow. Like my pillow right, I just good. wanna go lay down right now. Jeez. We all love a good discount, right? Click the link below to get 20% off or simply use our coupon code BM20 at checkout. All right, y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and get into this juicy this video. video. This little, yes, baby. We about to tell that it on you. No, I don't really want to. <laughs> we told you guys we would tell you this story. Y'all requested it like, hey, we ain't forget about yeah. this story. <laughs> yeah. What happened on Valentine's Day? All right, so we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to start from the top. So originally for Valentine's Day, you know, I had this beautiful little thing set up. Me and Maya were originally in Houston and we were originally supposed to be coming home from Houston on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I had a little setup. I had one of my friends that was gonna set up the apartment, you know, I was gonna do some cooking and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, yeah. surprise my baby for Valentine's Day. Flowers and all that good stuff. Just know that it didn't go like that. No. You know what I'm saying? Just know it did not go like that at all. <laughs> we weren't even Zero. in Atlanta <laughs> on Valentine's Day. We were Day. in Florida. We weren't in Atlanta or in Houston, y'all. We was in Florida. <laughs> So, let's go to the top. <laughs> Why were we in Houston? All right, so we went to, um, I got invited to perform in Houston. Shout out to my guy, y'all. You know, um, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man, because he invited me to Houston to, to do a performance, man. We, we did it. We rocked the show out. We had a great time. How'd now, you meet? So, I was doing a studio session, man. Me and uh, Hanky, shout out to Hanky. Me and Hanky yes. was doing a studio session out here in Atlanta. And uh, we went to the session, and y'all was there with his people. And we were just kind of connecting. You know, we was writing, vibing, you know, getting each other's vibe on how we how we write and how we sound in the studio and stuff like that. Uh, it was just really cool vibes. He was like, yo, man, you need to come to Houston and, and perform, bro. You know, I like your vibe. And I was like, hey, let's do it. Yeah. So, you know, 
we booked it. We got everything booked, and you know what I'm saying it was it was a great time. So yeah. uh, it started out a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we rocked the show. The show was amazing. Yes. Uh, it was a live show. It was during quarantine. It was right when quarantine kind of just started letting up. So uh, it was still like a, a virtual show. There was no audience, yeah. nothing really like that. But but it was really really dope. Now the thing that kind of make this story take a turn, right? Ooh. Completely, I blame Chris. Completely. Yes. I honestly, I don't even blame I don't even blame my brother. I blame Chris. Long story short, after the performance, guys, right? I was like, all right, bet. I'm in Houston. It was my line brother's birthday, so I was like, of course, we got a tee up for my line brother's birthday. Yeah. And he my age, you know, all that. So we get there, we waiting outside the club, it's cold. I'm not really tripping too much because I got on the coat. I just performed, I had on the pink little coat or whatever. This is a, a picture of what I had on that night. You know, I was fly, you know what I'm saying? Looked like it was gonna be a perfect little Valentine's night, right? Going into Valentine's Day. We had the club outside waiting. And at this point, it gets so cold to where they're like, okay, we're not gonna wait in this line. We're about to go wait in the coffee shop that's right next door and y'all can wait in line, you know what I'm saying? So, well, Chris can wait in line. Cause when I get there, it's Chris out there by himself. Anyway, right. everybody else was inside. I was like, hey, Chris. It's warm. Right, Chris waiting outside. We gonna wait in here because it's warm out here. So I was like, man, I'm not about to let my line brother wait outside by himself. So <laughs> she went inside. So <laughs> so um, are we outside and I was like, man, we out here for a long time. It's 10 minutes past, 15 minutes past, 30 minutes past. So after a minute, mm -hmm. we like, bro, we just gotta warm up. Cause it's so cold out here though. Like, so mind you, it's his birthday. Yes. We got, we trying to turn up the whole night. So I'm like, you know what? Liquor warms you up. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start taking a few shots, you know what I'm saying? Just so I can start warming up. Y'all, he was taking shots of Patron. <laughs> but Dude, still. That, like, let's let's not forget. But still. <laughs> let's but still. not skip over. Yeah, but still. But Patron. by the way, by the way, before <laughs> before we even get deep into this video, you guys know that we do not condone and underage drinking for sure. And please do not drink and drive. But anyways, back to the story. I was taking shots of Patron, right? Throwing them back, throwing them back. Cause we was like, man, look, Just we've been waiting out here. Time. We having a good time. You really, real for real. We having a good time. This is birthday. The line is just I don't know what was going on. It was just such a long wait. We was already mad about that. The person at the door was just giving us the runaround. They're like, y'all come in when when five people come out. And it's like, you see five people come out. It's like, okay, now what? Yeah, see the thing is, yeah, the thing is, it was like, y'all gotta remember it was COVID too. So it was like, they were really, really strict on how many people were in there. So that was kind of the reason why we were still there and still waiting. But we understand that y'all taking protocol, which is what we want, because we all know that we're going to a safe place. Now waiting in the parking lot, we probably Probably took about six or seven shots. Ooh, probably around that yeah. me. Now, mind you, I'm still not really feeling because it's so cold that my body is still just trying to even adjust to yeah. it. So I'm not feeling nothing. I'm still, I'm getting a little warmer, but I'm not really, yeah. I'm not really, but I'm like, not feeling anything I at all. I remember when I felt your hands, they were like ice cold. Yeah, yeah. So standing my, outside. Right. We didn't end up going to that club because the wait started being too long. So we was like, you know what, man, forget this. We're going to try to go somewhere else. We drive to another <laughs> club. We didn't end up getting there nope. either. I think it was yeah. over capacity. It was like right when the world started kind of opening back. Up. I yeah. was like, they not about to start letting people just go in, you know, go in and out. So that made us mad. So we was like, you know what? He he was over at the end of the day. He was like, you know what? If it, we just right, and then it started leave. raining too. Mm -hmm. So everybody was really over it at that point. It's all right, you know what? Everybody just gonna go home. Yeah, we ain't rain. gonna worry about it. We just yeah. gonna chill. So everybody left and went home. After we left, I was all right. Babe. I was with my line brother. I spent the time with him. You know what I'm saying? We did. We had to do. You know, I tried. So I gotta go back to my brother now. Now y'all. <laughs> Guys, oh, let me tell you something. One thing about my family, y'all. When Maya said in that last video, her first impression of my family was y'all lit. That was the perfect explanation for how my it. family is. Like literally, <laughs> one thing about my family, bro, we gonna turn up at any time, any day, any function, Where? make a function. That's how we are. That's just yeah. what we do. You know they what I'm saying? We we enjoy life. Every second of life. That's yes. Yeah. So it's my brother, we go to my brother's house. Brother's the king of just trying to turn people up. But see, my yes. brother, he's slick. He's slick. He be trying to get you. He'll get you to take buku shots, and he'll be taking the little mini shots. So yeah. we pull up to my brother's crib. Everything is everything. We going in there, and first thing he do is like, oh, you got to take a shot. Now, yeah. mind you, I had just took six, seven shots, you know what I'm saying, with my, with, with my line brother. But my body didn't even really start feeling, feeling it until I got in his house, because that's whenever I got warm. My body started adjusting to everything. And next thing I was like, okay, I'm feeling a little good. Right. So first thing he do, you got to take a shot. He saw me looking all good, like I just finished doing my right. little performance oh, over yeah, there. You got to yeah. take a shot. And then they had just came from turning up too. So they was, right. they was, uh, we was both kind of in our, 
you know how when you leave a function and you still lit and you go home and party a little more after after party? <laughs> yes. That was it. Was like after party vibes. Was. Yeah, he poured me and Maya up. So me and Maya, we we, we throw one back. Then we start having conversations. After I take that first shot, he like right, pull up another one. And you know me, this is my big brother. So I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to show him out because I'm like, yeah, man, I might be little brother, but I can still. You can't hang with me, you know. <laughs> and then let me also add that these shot cups that he gave us, he was filling it to the rim. Yeah, my brother was filling them <laughs> things. If I'm telling y'all, like. A, uh, the shot cup was about that big, and he was he was fitting it all the way to the rim. All, like and it was like about, about that thick, like and he was filling it up to the rim. Yes, and, and, and I, was, he, I was like, I'm not I, like when he poured it. I was like, I'm not taking this whole shot. Like, and I was dead serious about it. I did not crack. I was like, I'm gonna take half, and then when you say next round, I'm gonna take half again. Yeah. But him, he was taking the entire. Yeah. See, my ain't shot. really, my ain't really care. See, but I was just like, I'm, I'm here for a good time. I'm, I'm in another I'm city. I'm having a good time. So she was taking half of the shots that he put to pour. Me, I was throwing them back. But the whole thing. Man, it was like four or five shots later where I looked over and I realized he poured us a shot. He was like, yeah, man, we about to take a shot, man. Go ahead, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? So right. he, was like, he was like, pull up, use another shot. Another you know, we got shot. talking deep. You know what I'm saying? We got real conversation going on. Drinking all the time. Like, yeah, take a again. shot to that. You know what I'm saying? Pull up another one, man. <laughs> so we <laughs> we pouring up. So I, I, as soon as we start to take a cheer, I, I lift my glass and I peep over to the side. <laughs> man, this dude had about this much in his glass. Literally. Like, like that much. So I peep over, I said, oh no, dog. I said, hold on, Dedrick. I said, what you doing, dog? You, right. you got us bent. But anyway, I don't know what happened after that. Cause Ooh. all I remember was I blacked out and woke up <laughs> on my brother's couch. Yeah. And it was time to go to the airport. It was time to go to the airport. So before we went to sleep, he don't even remember this. Before we went to sleep, he went to the bathroom, throwing I, up. I didn't remember that. I'm kind of like, he drunk a lot. I didn't think nothing was really wrong. I'm like, he just drunk a lot. He need to get it out of his system. I just let him be. When I tell y'all I don't remember this, I do not At remember all. this, y'all. And I, I went in to check on him and he looked crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, get yourself together, babe. <laughs> like, and honestly, I don't even know how he made it back to the couch, but he got himself together. He got back to the couch and went to sleep. We were both asleep. I had set several alarms because I knew it was crucial for us to wake up in time for this flight. Yes. The alarms went off. The first one went off. I saw it, but I was like, oh, I'm still tired. It kind of ignored it. The second one went off. I got up and I'm touching him like, hey, it's time to get up. Come on, get up. He is not moving. So I'm like trying to get both of our luggages together. And then I like, I kind of like really move him. I'm like, get up. And he like, I'm up. He goes <laughs> right back to sleep. I'm like, no, you're not up. Like, it's time to go. At this point, I'm like, we're literally gonna miss the flight because I don't remember the exact times, but like, if our flight left at seven o'clock, it was like 6.30 at this point. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like we were down the street from the airport. Right, and my sister-in-law was really like, she really wanted to tell us just, hey, y'all need to just stay in stay. Houston. They didn't go to the airport, y'all need to just stay in Houston. I just remember waking up to us rushing, to us <laughs> in the car, me opening the door, throwing up again. And like I opened the door like four times throwing up. Yeah. And so at this point, she really not want to take us to the airport because she like, y'all really not about to get on no plane. Like, right. Like y'all not about to get on no plane, but do we, am I in, we just adding it. Yeah, we're, we're like, going we have to, to this. Because today is Valentine's Day. Right, so. It's like, we have to get back home. Big fact. Here's the thing, y'all. I didn't feel terrible. You know how when you wake up and you have one of those hangovers where you just throwing up, you know what I'm saying? You just, it ain't nothing bad. It's just a bad hangover. So that's all it felt like. It was a bad hangover, I had to throw up or whatever. He kept going to the bathroom. Oh yeah, that's right, that's back right. Back and forth, yeah. back and forth. I was, up, but I wasn't back. I wasn't feeling terrible. So I was just like, dang, I can't keep like this nothing I, I eat down. Like nothing I eat, nothing I drink, I can't keep it down. Before we even got on the plane, I went to like Wendy's and I was like, can I get like four paper bags? Cause I knew he's gonna need something on this plane. Yes. <laughs> so he had the four bags, we get on the plane. We can't sit next to each other. I don't even remember which airline we were flying, but it ended up that we couldn't sit next to each other. Hey. I'm in front of him, he goes to the back of the plane, mm -hmm. and we're in the flight. To me, I go to sleep, I'm fine. I have no idea what's happening to him behind me, but you can explain yeah. what's going on. It was terrible. It was <laughs> hell. So I was sitting in between two people. I didn't even have an NC, y'all, so I had a middle seat in between an older white guy and like a, a, a black guy that's like a, a slightly older than me. I just know the whole time they were just kind of like 
yo, what the hell is wrong right. with this dude? Like, Cause literally when we first got on the plane, I sat down, it wasn't that bad. I just had those bags just cause I knew I was like, I'm gonna end up throwing up. Man, that plane took off. And when I tell you it went from zero to a hundred real quick, <laughs> It was like, I don't know what that plane did, but as soon as that plane took off, y'all, it was like, literally, bro, it was like, I kind of like low-key blacked out. I was throwing up. I was I, I was trying to get up, trying to go to the bathroom. Bro, it was, it was a lot. I wasn't even really feeling that bad to say that, you know, I ended up feeling like this, you know, like it was like, bro, it went from zero to hundred so quick. It was traumatizing, bro. Like I will never, ever drink before I get on the plane. Ever, I don't <laughs> care, ever. So when we landed, I got off the plane first because I was yeah. in front of him. Uh -huh. So I'm I'm waiting at the end of the, the gate terminal. Like I'm waiting for him to come off the plane. And I'm like, okay, where is he? Like, I, I didn't think he was that far. And then it gets to the point where like, literally it looks like one person got off the plane and that was it. And then it, it started looking like the pilots were getting off. I'm like, okay, wait, where is he? Because he still hadn't got off yet. I walked back onto the plane and I'm like, I saw the flight attendant. I'm like, I'm looking for my boyfriend. And she was like, oh, he must be right here. I turn and he's sitting in the first seat, like just lifeless, so Yo, lifeless. So I remember, <laughs> all I remember was looking up and the plane was empty. Like, yes. <laughs> I swear, y'all, yeah, this is like a movie, y'all, to me, like, bro, when I swear when I tried to stand up, it felt like I had just took 30 shots. I was like, why? I couldn't move. I was trying to walk to the front, and it was just like, bro, what is really going on? I'm walking, I'm trying to walk in the airport, and literally, y'all, right whenever I got off the plane and when I got into the airport, I just dropped. dropped. Fell to the dropped. ground. And I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I was so terrified, because I'm uh, like, we're not even in Atlanta because we missed the first flight, which was supposed to take us directly to Atlanta. Um, but when we had to reschedule, we had to do a connecting flight mm -hmm. and the connecting flight was in Florida. So we're now in Florida and he just collapsed on the floor. Okay. And I'm like, okay, now a lot of things are going through my mind. It was kind of like a movie. As soon as he dropped, there was like an ex firefighter, a yeah. fireman. He came up very swiftly and he was like, hey, I'm an ex-fireman, <laughs> tell me what's going on. And I'm like, we had a lot to drink last night. Once we told him what, what was going on, that's when he was like, he's like, okay, all right. So I'm an ex-firefighter, I understand what's going on, see whatever you drink. You can't drink before you take a flight because if you take a flight, if you take one shot, when you get in the air, it's gonna feel like you took five. Yeah. So uh, that was just kind of the things he was explaining, you know, yeah. and I was just like, that makes so much sense because I was like, bro, when we got to the airport, I was not feeling that bad. I just kept throwing up. And when that plan landed, landed, I was just thanking God to be alive. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm not kidding, bro. Like, oh, I was just thanking God to be alive, y'all. Like, I was feeling so, I never felt like that in my life. I was feeling so terrible, and I was like, there's no way. So, mind y'all, the whole time, the man, Yeah, he's the man come. asking questions, and I'm trying to tell him, but I don't know everything, so I'm like, man, you have to talk. He literally can't even get can't. words out. So, now, everyone is looking at us, and so the uh, flight attendants, they're like, okay, it's time to call the EMS. So they called them, they came, they're checking his vitals, they're asking him questions and he just really can't even answer. So I'm answering what I can answer. Honestly, they're like, so it's nothing really wrong with him, he just needs to shake back. In so many words, they like, he just needs to shake back. Right, that's really so, And words. they were like, you can't get on your next connecting flight, you're gonna have to stay here mm -hmm. and try again tomorrow. Right. So at that point, I'm calling his mom I'm calling my mom to keep her updated and we're trying to get the flights redone so we can get back to Atlanta the next day he's with the EMS they have him in a wheelchair and I'm trying to get the tickets for the next day figured out his mom booked the hotel I'm just trying to like get everything together for us to find somewhere to settle down at this moment because that's really what he needed he needed rest and fluids that's what they kept telling us so I then take control of the wheelchair and we're like walking to get our bags, which was hell getting the bags, but we're walking to get our bags and then I had to get an Uber. The whole time walking him down to the Uber, he's just gagging so loud throughout <laughs> the airport. That was the part that was a little embarrassing for me because I'm like, hey, 
And y'all, in the back of my mind, <laughs> while I was doing that, it was like, I knew, like, you know how when you when you throwing up and nothing coming up, you just like, I just kept dry here and I didn't know what, it, like, I couldn't, literally couldn't stop it. And it was like, y'all, I'm telling you, my dry heat is dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so is. I just oh know, God. so I just know my it was so embarrassed, bro. But it was like I couldn't help it, and honestly, I didn't care. Like in the back of my mind, I didn't care who saw me. I wouldn't, I wasn't trying to. I was like, look, I don't care about doing nothing but shaking back. Once we got to the hotel, you know, I was able to get him some fluids, like Gatorade, Pedialyte, stuff like that. Uh, we just used DoorDash. Shout out to DoorDash. Big thanks. But all he needed was just rest and fluids. Yeah. Like once he finally went to sleep. There was so much relief. Yeah, once we finally get to got us. right when we finally got to the hotel in Florida, it was just like, oh, like <laughs> I was I was still throwing up a little bit, but like once I finally got to sleep, and when I woke up from that sleep, I, literally all I needed was sleep, mm -hmm. literally, because once I woke yeah, up, it's sleeping and right. sleeping uh, and, and fluids, because like once I woke up from from that sleep, it was literally just like I was perfectly fine, like I was just like. I'm good. And I'm telling y'all, yeah. I woke up to my sister cursing me out, my mama cursing me out, her mama cursing me out, <laughs> she cursing me out, everybody right. just getting on me. My daddy laughing, think it's funny. It's just, bro, my brother think it's funny. He, he just think it's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> he think it's hilarious. And so it's, it was just, it was just a crazy experience. Yeah. But it was, it was probably, I, let me tell y'all something, man. If you guys are going out somewhere y'all got a flight the next day don't do don't, too much. don't don't do the most man don't take <laughs> don't take 20 shots give yourself time to shake back we should have stayed in houston we should have just redid a flight for another time mm -hmm. because he probably would have been fine we never would have went through that yeah we but once we got in the air it was over according to the fireman it was over with at that point he said that's all it took you know, all you had to do was get in the air and once you got in the air <laughs> it was gonna take you so and it took you so it did so, but the next day when we were able to get back to Atlanta, he still had Valentine's Day set up for me. So yeah. I had Valentine's Day on February 15th this year. Big facts, <laughs> big facts. She had, she had the next day, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Trevor, cause he shot, you know, he did the thing for me. Yes. He had set it up and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that was, it was a crazy moment, man. Yes, crazy experience. I don't even want to talk about it too much more cause I'm getting that flashes. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. But I just figured I'd share it with y'all just because, you know, it's, learn from our mistakes. I mean, learn from our mistakes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was funny. It's funny now to look back yeah, and think yeah. about it. Uh, so just don't do not do the most, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. That was all for story time. We're just going to catch you guys next time on the fairy tale. You hear me? Peace. Baby, it's true.